In the summer of 2008, three hurricanes and a tropical storm devastated Haiti. World Concern is playing a crucial role to rebuild the lives of 13,000 people. Rock upon rock, a human assembly line fills large wire containers. It's a low-cost, secure way to protect a precious underground farm irrigation system that World Concern rebuilt after the hurricanes. Water from this river is shuttled to fields. These men work on this project until they could get back to their real jobs as farmers. There was damage. No water come to this part. Norbert Francois of World Concern works with the farmers, people who have endured a lot of pain. And what are we going to do? At that time they cry. They say, what are we going to do? I was stressed out. I didn't know how I was going to solve the problem. Oriel is a farmer and depends on irrigation to grow his family's plantains, beans, and corn. The produce he sells pays for his children to go to school. Right now, I am one of those whose life has been changed. But really, it's the same story for so many families here. Putting these farmers to work makes them feel invested in the project. Disaster Relief Director Mary Fitzpatrick. Not only do they feel more ownership in the system and are more likely to keep it repaired, but that also gives them some income until their until their first crop can come in once the system once the system is repaired. Rebuilding five irrigation systems are some of the many ways World Concern has responded to the countrywide hurricane catastrophe. <laughs> The storms killed thousands of goats and other animals. Since the storms, World Concern has given 2,400 goats to people in need, including children and widows with no other way to make an income. I'm so thankful for the goat that I received. I hope God blesses the people who brought me the goat. My parents will be very happy. I know I'm happy. 19-year-old Wanzi says his family lost animals in the storm, ending a prime way to make money. Goats provide milk to drink and to sell, and they have kids, which bring a good return at the market. This goat will really help me out, and my family. My mom and dad will use the income for the goat to pay tuition for me. I feel I'm really happy. World Concern Haiti director Christone Dumont says listening is key to success. We don't try to give the farmers something that they don't need. We give them what they need and what they request. And our animals are really the key for the farmers to get back in business. Families who lost so much in the storms crowded together to receive something that only grows more valuable. World Concerned staff members called the names of the locals so they could claim their trees. These trees not only will offer food, but also a chance for income. In all, poor families receive nearly 23,000 tree seedlings. Yeah, the trees can help with the children. The children can find some things from fruits from the trees and they can eat. Times when their other crops may be destroyed, the fruit trees are still producing. And some of the trees can produce fruit within nine months of being planted. And these trees have another purpose, to help heal Haiti's environmental wreckage. Because of massive deforestation, storm water easily rolls down dirt hills here, creating huge mudslides. The problem with Haiti is that it's so vulnerable. They've, they've, their natural resources are so used that there's, there's erosion. Locals often cut trees to burn, but they don't usually cut down fruit trees because they produce something valuable. When these trees grow up, it will reduce damage from the next hurricane. The team is experienced in thinking not just about how do we recover from this storm, but how do we make people more prepared for the next storm. World Concern has also distributed millions of seeds. Farmers are now replanting crops. With this help, farmers like Eugenio can feed their families. This river swelled out of control during the hurricanes. Rushing water not only chipped away at the banks, it also dug deep below the existing riverbed, ripping apart the underground irrigation canal, filling it with debris. Thumping Creole melodies keep the work crew going as they put everything back together. 
Nearby, an access point along a trail shows the rush of water flowing underground toward farms. Eventually, water flows into these above ground ditches, then finally spreads into the fields. Though many children and families still need help in this country on the brink, this is progress in a land often held back from development. Uh, this is our mandate. This is our mandate to help the poor people. World Concern. Life. Opportunity. <laughs>